Welcome to the 2024 State of the Community Address, my friends. There is so much that connects us, and those connections resonate throughout our shared experiences in Athens. This is true of the full array of work we do together, from our appreciation of the creative spirit that draws so many here, through our shared joy and struggles. Among the most prominent connections I need to note from the outset of our time together today is our shared pain from those we've lost to violence and our desire for our safety. From a promising young nursing student in Lake and Riley to a child yet to enter elementary school in Kieran Zarko Smith to Willie Jewell, a longtime resident continuing to give to the community he loved, we mourn these losses and ask ourselves how such a set of tragedies can find a response on the local level. As we wrap our arms around each other in love and support, here in the athens clark County Unified Government, we will continue to lean into making this an ever safer community through every means necessary. While we cannot account for all national, global, and cultural forces pushing against our desire for healthy lives, we will continue to enable our community with high quality support. This includes providing the police department and other public safety units with the tools they need. This is what we did last year when we acquired ballistics analysis equipment to rapidly identify munitions used in crimes, which have been used successfully to initiate 88 investigative leads over the last year. This is what we did this year when we initiated a real-time crime center to aggregate information quickly and bring arrests before violent actors could bring further trauma to our community. And this is what we will do this year as we further build out our camera array and enable our police department to access otherwise distant park and trail spaces more easily. And to those from any place who would do harm to others here, I ask that you look at our track record. If you inflict damage on our residents, we will capture you and we will do this quickly. In addition, we continue to emphasize proactive initiatives. Every effort will be made to continue to prevent trauma and pain in the first place by ensuring that healthy, supportive systems are put into place. This is what we have done through continued funding of our Neighborhood Leaders Program that connects residents with resources preventing and healing fractures in Athens, including closing nearly half of the gap in underutilization of supplemental nutrition programs available through the Department of Family and Children's Services. Just a few short years ago, as a community, we were leaving over $20 million a year on the table, but through the Neighborhood Leaders Program, we now draw down almost $9 million of these publicly available benefits each and every year. Hungry families are desperate families, and eliminating hunger is an important public safety contributor. Similarly, introducing young people to enriching pro-social activities continues to be a huge effort in athens Clark County. This year, that includes an ongoing partnership with the Clark County School District to ensure that every fourth to eighth grade student has access to the sports programs that have not been universally available in the past. Through this jointly funded effort, also supported by the University of Georgia Athletic Association, thousands of young people are learning the value of teamwork and developing strong relationships with coaches and peers. Our partnership with the school district will continue with an additional $3 million allocation that we have made that will bear fruit in the year ahead. Similarly, We've allocated over $2 million to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Athens and their partner organizations to extend and expand the work that they've been doing with data-driven focus on the places where young people were historically under-resourced in recent decades. Boys and Girls Clubs now have locations open in Nellie B and Parkview communities, among others, and they're drawing upon decades of research into violence prevention from their national parent organization. Every day, we recognize that just as we handle the challenges of this moment, we have an opportunity to line up future success for our young residents and the community at large. While I will only be in this office for three more years, I have a strong commitment to enabling future leaders to enjoy a safer and more connected Athens. Just as resource assistance and youth support contribute to the safety and health of our community, our work ensuring sufficient access to quality housing has the same effect. We are proud of the partnerships we have forged with the Athens Housing Authority, Habitat for Humanity, Historic Athens, the East Athens Development Corporation, the Athens Land Trust and others, along with the work happening through our own planning department. The Housing Authority has been a key partner in the revitalization of the North Downtown area, formerly known as the Bethel Midtown Village. The first phase of redevelopment is opening in a few short months, and the second phase has now received funding 
in the form of federal low-income housing tax credits. That program is the single largest contributor to localities stock of new affordable housing across the United States. And in the midst of the supply and cost crisis that we are in, I call upon our federal partners to do more for every city in Georgia and across our nation. For any of you who work in the building trades, who have simply tried to repair the steps to your front door in recent years, you know how much costs have escalated. And we need a response from Washington that is commensurate with the needs of every community like Athens. The Housing Authority is also pursuing new moderate income developments near Athens Tech and a senior-focused development on Atlanta Highway. Both of these will allow working or retired teachers, nurses, and other professionals to have quality homes near groceries, amenities, and public transit routes. This year, the County Commission approved zoning and contributed funding for a neighborhood that Habitat for Humanity is building on the Firefly Trail in East Athens that will allow several dozen working families to own a home and have their children and grandchildren benefit from home ownership in the manner that research has demonstrated will improve their lifelong educational and economic outcomes. Among several affordable housing collaborations with the Athens Land Trust is the historic Mac Burney House and two neighboring properties on Reese Street, which would have been slated for demolition, but which together we were able to save through an innovative partnership with the property developer who has recently submitted plans for redevelopment of the adjacent former Varsity property. Through financial and regulatory support of these kind of projects, we are not only creating new homes, but encouraging a city that allows access to fresh food and walkability, the kind of city that will stand the test of time. This coming fiscal year, I will recommend direction of a million dollars to initiate what we are calling a strike fund. This will allow purchase of properties that are in contested legal limbo, and work with a rejuvenated land bank authority to keep these properties in the hands of working Athenians rather than lay dormant or exclusively fall into the hands of investors. While the real estate market should produce reasonable profits for those involved, a key role of the public sector is intervening to ensure that regular folks can have a place to call home. The sharpest edge of the housing crisis is the rise in homelessness that's been experienced here along with every attractive an increasingly expensive community across the Sun Belt. With many strong partners in the nonprofit community, we now have a formal homeless coalition with a board of care providers and business professionals who can ensure that we are doing everything necessary to provide optimal and focused coordination. The challenging real estate market, along with the severity of chemical substance use and behavioral health challenges, mean that this will be an area that needs critical attention for years to come but Athens is up for the challenge. Beyond the work we are doing in partnership with affordable housing providers, this is a critical year in our planning and zoning work. We are updating our land use plan this year to accommodate contemporary needs. This is gonna be an effort that requires the entire community's assistance, and we will need an open-minded approach from all Athenians. Just as the nation experienced the change brought by moving from a population that was half rural in 1900, and later had to adjust to the post-World War II population explosion through the 50s and 60s that brought new neighborhoods from Forest Heights to Green Acres. So today, must we be responsive to the housing needs of this era? All of us become accustomed to the view at our kitchen window when we move into adulthood or become homeowners. And while change is challenging for all of us, encouraging additional homes where people can walk to grocery stores, parks, schools, and workplaces will ensure that we are creating a city that is built to last for basic human needs, for fiscal responsibility, and for the long-term support of our natural environment. There are several public input opportunities lined up through the spring of 2024, and I encourage all of you to become involved in putting a sustainable Athens in place for our children and grandchildren. Another aspect of our work on safety involves our emergency management work through our fire department. We've continued to expand our medical emergency capabilities by adding three EMS captain positions this year with the goal of supporting at least 130 certified EMTs within the department. At this point, 60% of all of our responses from that department are for medical emergencies, and we want you and your loved ones to experience optimal care. We continue to work toward ever safer roadways, having initiated a local road safety program just this winter which will contribute millions in design upgrades to roadways and intersections. Our expanding trail network continues to connect people with each other, 
with the places they work, study, and play. We were approximately two years away from completion of the Clark County segment of the Firefly Trail that will extend from East Broad Street to the Oglethorpe County line in Winterville. In addition, we're opening a new Greenway segment this spring that links Carriage Lane and Barnett Shoals Road with South Campus and the core spine of our system along the Oconee River. This will be an even stronger asset when GDOT replaces the bridge over the river on Oconee Street next year, allowing Dudley Park to connect directly to the Greenway south of Highway 78 via a trail along the riverbank and ultimately to College Station Road. Our strong system of infrastructure, not just roads and trails, but also fiber data with both locally and federally funded upgrades, along with a strong water and sewer system, allow our economic development department to continue to pursue high wage employment as they did by attracting Meisner to Athens last year. This 1600 employee strong enterprise breaking ground this year is an enormous addition to our area biotech industry, one of the cornerstones of our contemporary economic development effort. We will strengthen this employment pipeline in 2024 with the addition of the Biotech Pathway at the Athens Community Career Academy, allowing local high school students to get on the path to career success in this field early and aligning with world-class efforts at Athens Technical College and the University of Georgia. Speaking of the University of Georgia, we are delighted that they've been granted the opportunity for a full-fledged medical college, which will be a critical link to success for the entire state but will be particularly important in Athens' ongoing role as serving as medical provider for more than 700,000 residents throughout Northeast Georgia. In addition, the research and development that will take place on this campus will invariably spin off additional private businesses that will thrive in this community that hosts so many peer firms like Boehringer Ingelheim, Ethicon, and many others. As I speak to you here from the Linden House Arts Center, where we are featuring our 49th annual juried exhibition, I also want to note the key strides in our creative community and hospitality sector that we will see. This spring, Athena Studios is hosting their first feature film production, and we look forward to decades of successful work there. We will be assisting the film community with location, crew, and support service databases specific to Athens. This summer, we will see completion of the long-awaited Classic Center Arena, where we will host professional hockey, musicians that currently lack a large capacity venue, and gatherings that currently require multiple venues to meet in, but will now be able to gather in a single space with impeccable acoustics and ideal sight lines. The opening of the arena will soon be followed by a concourse of dining, residences, entertainment, and gathering spaces, highlighting the river that runs alongside our downtown. In addition to large scale activities, we continue to work toward ever better efforts at our contracting and procurement processes. And in the wake of a formal disparity study, we will be strengthening our efforts to support minority-owned and women-owned firms through local public expenditures. Additionally, we are revamping our contracting process with nonprofit providers to ease the pathway to partnership with them. All of this is part of our journey to becoming an even more welcoming and supportive community for all who come here. When we take part in these activities, we acknowledge the work we still have to do to become an ideal community for all residents. That is why we recognize past wrongs, like our failure to fully support neighborhoods like Linnentown or the Bottoms decades ago, and now make grants in the name of residents of those places and fund the forthcoming Black Futures Center. That is why we work with the AARP to become an age-friendly community where people of every stage in life and ability can get around. That is why we find dignity in the work of the U.S. State Department as they support a few dozen international refugee families in Athens. We do these things recognizing our common humanity and continue to embrace all persons of goodwill, whether born here in Athens, living here for a few years of study, or arriving from places near and far seeking a better life, as people have done for the entire time humans settled on this land beneath our feet. I will close by thanking you for the warm embrace that you bring to your fellow Athenians. It is not lost on me what a giving and wonderful group of residents we have the benefit of sharing the community with each and every day as we continue to strive to be the place where our work meets the quality of our spirit.